So Delaware court just struck down Elon Musk's pay package because a shareholder filed suit stating that the board failed to oblige by their fiduciary obligations when they negotiated this pay package with Elon. You might be wondering off the bat, like how is a court able to step in here and decide what is fair pay? And the answer is that directors of corporations have fiduciary obligations to the company. And part of those fiduciary obligations means that they have the company's best interest at heart when they're negotiating deals on behalf of the corporation, including deals with the company's CEO or other executive officers. And basically in this case, the court said that the board didn't do a tough enough job negotiating against Elon for this pay package. Instead, the court basically said that the board rolled over and gave him whatever he wanted. Quote, swept up by the rhetoric of all upside, or perhaps starry-eyed by Musk's superstar appeal, the board never asked the $55.8 billion question. Was the plan even necessary for Tesla to retain Musk and achieve its goals? Now, because of this ruling, Musk has immediately started conversations about moving the company's legal headquarters from Delaware to Texas. Delaware is usually where companies are headquartered legally because the legal system there has optimized itself for corporate legal issues. So companies know that if they go to Delaware, things are going to be more predictable and investors are more comfortable with Delaware as well. But it's also because Delaware's legal system tends to be corporation friendly. And a case like this... It's going to make CEOs think twice before they incorporate in Delaware. Let me know what you think of this case in the comments.